Hey, this is Steve. I'm going to talk about my 116 Yukon Lifetime Kayak. There it is. It's got a C2 30-pound thrust trolling motor on it with a bracket I built out of aluminum. Mounted into the straps that you, you hold stuff down with. Just put a 3-inch screw in there, the same size pretty much what was there before. And the trolling motor mounts to it nice with a 2x4 and an angle bracket that comes up about two inches. I'm gonna do some aluminum weld here. It's just kind of got a little play there. And I'll explain the steering unit in a little bit. So anyway, the 30 pound thrust C2 has a, I got seven feet of a cable here. It runs down, and goes to this control box up by me, or a conjunction, or they call it a junction box. And a wood stove. No. Turn it to the left three times, you got reverse, one, two, or three, and then obviously to the right you got one through five. I gotta still label it, and you got a badass recliner seat that adjusts in two positions. Right now it's in the up position, and go down to the reclining. You got some extra straps here for keys. You can see extra straps here. You got these, this one here, extra straps. It's got foot pedals. You know, adjust your feet, and they do have, a lot of people haven't been talking about this on the Yukon. The Yukon does have a little mark right here. That's actually for a cable. So what the cable does, you can feed the cable through here and bring it through here like I did. Okay. It will be mounted the same in the back here. But this cable, the way they designed it is, this will actually run, I believe, the foot pedal. So people will put on the foot pedal and then they'll take this piece out because you'll have to so the foot pedals freely. But I don't want to run my motor left and right with the foot pedal. I want to run it with my steering unit I did. So I believe that's what this is because I don't know what else it'd be for. And then, oh, never mind. They actually gave me a beer too. Thank you, Lifetime. And a, gro a GoPro unit and it comes with a strap to get you out of your seat or stand you up because it is a stand-up kayak then it comes a compartment that goes all the way to the back six seven eight foot poles no problem just got to work around the foam if you hit it nice lifetime label nice handle come around the other side there's your foot pedal again it's got a track here both sides of the kayak for your uh depth finder or extra rods, more straps, and there's my steering unit. You can see I'm turning the kayak. It's called the Vive Steering. I built that with a control box lid. I used the lid and mounted it to the lid, and that way I didn't have to put a big hole into the kayak, and that's the lid I bought. Obviously, you don't need the box, but so you buy a junction box, an extra one, and the lid comes with it, and you put your Vive Steering unit on it. And then I drilled some holes for the tubes that go through the quarter inch tubing and the string that it comes with. Got my battery there. Got some fishing rod holders. They're flush mount, badass. And I'll show you the steering. You can see, watch the prop down there. There you go, the trolling motor. See, I love this. This is just gonna be badass. I haven't even had it in the water yet. I'm so excited to have it. And then there's my battery box for the trolley motor. Got a cigarette lighter, or you know, not cigarette lighter, but you know, uh, you know, if you got a phone that has that, whatever, it uh, goes in the old cigarette lighter, I put one of them on there. And then a USB, whatever, cable there, 3.0, and then it's digital too, it'll tell the battery reading. I still got wired to do this, so this is still a project not done yet. Oh, and then I forgot, if you look underneath, let's give her a spin. How many kayaks come with that? Got a wheel on the back, so you can lift her up and wheel her into the lake. I'm sure there could be sand or whatever, whatever, but where I go, it ain't too bad. And they, these are quick release I put on here, so if you take a trolling motor, just when you're done with it, tilt it forward. Grab this and take it off when you put it on. Put it on. 
drilling more down, you're done. Like I said, there's just a little wobble in this, but I'm gonna get it welded right here and the inside. I still gotta put a screw into the wood here and over there and a couple underneath, and that will help the block too. It'll make everything kind of tighter, but I haven't done that yet. I just finished this today and I'm very excited to put her in the lake. So that's my Yukon 116 11 foot 6 inch kayak. This is Steve Norton. I'm out. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, forgot. Lifetime gave me a beer. <clears throat> Thank you, Lifetime. And don't forget about the GoPro mount, which you can put a speaker on it too. All right, guys, have a good day. And that's my 11 foot 6 inch kayak.